It's a miracle! You can walk! Ivor? What are you doing here? Who's this guy? Mila's handmaid. Now that your legs have healed, you must return to the village at once. Please, if something else were to happen to you, I don't know what I'd do. I cannot return yet. I have business in Fenmont. In that case, allow me to accompany you. That won't be necessary. I have all the help I need. From these people? These people, Jude and Leia here, helped me walk again. They can be trusted. Jude again? Uh, I'm Leia. Nice to meet you. He's got some issues, huh? You must feel pretty pleased with yourself now that Lady Mila is on her feet again. Well, I did promise I would help her walk again. And here she is walking. How dare you take credit for this miracle! It was all due to Lady Mila's divine power! It must have been! Maxwell, curse you! I was the one who was supposed to heal her! Uh, sorry? That's right. Beg for your forgiveness, you phony! Atone for your blasphemy! What is he talking about? It would seem Jude keeps the most eccentric company. All of his acquaintances are so... unique. Ivor, I gave you an important mission. Why are you here? I've not forgotten about the defense of the village. And the item you entrusted to me is safe. I have it hidden in a place known to no other. However, I recently received this. Maxwell is in grave danger. You must rescue her at once. I rushed forth immediately. I only just now caught up with you, Lady Mila. Who could have written something like this? I wonder. But in any case, it's mistaken. As you can see, I'm perfectly fu- Ivor, run! Huh? Timid? I thought you said the monster would be a pussycat now that it's Solemn and Renome is here. That should be the case. Unless... With the four great spirits missing, the spirit climbs have essentially stopped shifting. Great. How will we cross Fezabel Marsh to get to Fenmont? Yeah. Cross Fezabel Marsh? <laughs> you people are out of your minds! Only a wyvern could reach Fenmont at this point! Fortunately, it just so happens that I, the redoubtable handmaid, can be of assistance to Lady Mila. 
You know a way to get there? I have in my possession a wyvern, faithful only to me. I would be happy to transport Lady Mila to Fenmont. Ivern, is there any other way? Huh? Uh, well, uh... There is, isn't there? Tell me. I have heard of a clan in Shandu that can control monsters. They raise wyverns there, apparently. I guess that's our next stop. Onward to Shandu. Ivor, thank you. Ivor? Uh, shall we go? Yeah. That's the bird that delivered the letter! You dirty bird! When Mila saves the four great spirits, she will need the key in your possession. This will be your chance to beat Jude once and for all. Wait until I contact you again. Then you will free the four great spirits and become Lady Mila's true champion. <laughs> you won't get the upper hand this time, phony! guy is something else, huh? Apparently he's Mila's handmaid. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised at her unusual taste and friends. They don't get much weirder than that. <laughs> You're one to talk, Tipo. He scared me. He was so mad at Jude. Well, he does attract the weird ones. <laughs> You're one to talk, Leah. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Sounds like Ivor found some useful information. I hadn't heard about these wyverns before. Wyverns are a special breed of flying monster native to a remote region of Ajul. They're quite intelligent, but very rare. And only those who have mastered a special art can train them. Is it really safe to ride one? That depends. I've heard that if a naughty child tries to ride, the wyvern will gobble her right up. Is that true? Don't worry, Ellie's a good kid. Yeah, she'll be fine. But what about you? Hmm. It would be a shame to see Tipo get eaten. That can't be good for a wyvern's stomach. Huh? No! You can't let it eat me! It's okay! You're a good kid, too! <laughs> well, he's a gullible one. I can tell you that much. Nice job. Yeah. 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 Yeah.